back to Food Prep Guide. As you can see, I have a sweet little puppy here with me. Her name is Emma, and we recently, in emails, let you know about a sweet little abandoned, abused puppy who was dropped off on our dirt road out in the middle of nowhere. She was abandoned. Um, my husband found her, we think we found her the very night that she was dropped off. She didn't seem like she had spent a night out in the woods by herself quite yet. Um, but we have been talking to y'all, just mentioned it very briefly. In our emails, I'm out of breath because <laughs> trying to pick her up, she's actually pretty heavy. She um, seems to be an Anatolian shepherd mix. Um, but anyway, we announced in our emails that we decided to keep her and make her a member of our family. So she officially has the name of Emma and she is officially part of our crowd here. But we realize that not all of you who um, join us on YouTube are part of our email list. I'm sure y'all will see her roaming around in the backgrounds of videos, so I just wanted to introduce her. Um, she came to us with, she was really malnourished. You could pretty much see all of her ribs. She had a few injuries on her ears, but they are healing up beautifully. Um, and she is just the absolute sweetest dog. And the reason, one of the main reasons that I wanted to do this video um, is just a testimony to the Lord's goodness, to his provision, um, to his faithfulness, and the fact that he not only grants us the desires of our hearts, or not only grants us our needs, but also the desires of our hearts in a lot of ways. And he knows what we want and need before we even ask him. Um, and the reason why I say that in regard to Miss Emma here is because she is an part Anatolian Shepherd. Anatolian Shepherds are one of the best livestock guardian dogs that there are. We have never had a livestock guardian dog here on this property, but when we first moved here, we did research them because we knew that we were going to have animals here. And we had decided over 10 years ago that the Anatolian Shepherd was the dog that we would want when it came time for that. Now we do have chickens. We've had quail here on the property in the past, guinea, um, ducks, I mean, all of that. Um, but this is the first year that we've really gotten into um, rabbits and really raising them at somewhat of a bigger scale and kind of going through that whole process of investing in them and really getting them set up in a very nice, you wanna go play? You see your, you see your, you see your sisters and brothers over there? <laughs> My children? <laughs> um, you can go, go ahead, you wanna go? Okay, she's gonna go play. Um, but Anatolian Shepherds was what we have decided on 10 years ago. But not only are they pricey, but we just didn't have the need for them yet. We didn't have a huge predator, predator problem with our chickens. And the predator problems that we did have were pretty easily solved um, with a live trap. And so it, we just, it just wasn't really a thing on our radar. But we got our rabbitry finished and had our rabbits move in about, it's been about two weeks ago, I guess, I think. And it was within seven days that she was dropped off on our road. Um, and I just don't want to, I don't want to overlook the Lord's blessings. I don't want to um, believe in coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence. I believe God is sovereign over all things. You want to come back? Come here. Um, I believe that he provides, that he loves his children, that he knows their needs. Um, and it uh, delights him to provide those needs and to provide those desires of our hearts. And we were going to need a livestock guardian dog for our rabbits. But we hadn't even gotten to that point where we were starting to pray about that yet. It probably wouldn't have been long before we would have started praying about having a livestock guardian and that he would... Um, lead us to a good one and help us to be able to afford one and you know just all those things that you would pray about when you're kind of venturing into something new I'm sure that would have come pretty quickly um, but it was seven days later that she this Anatolian Shepherd very sweet girl was dropped off on our road she needed a home she needed someone to take care of her and to love her and we needed someone to love and to take care of our rabbits um, and so it is just a need filled and provided for before we even really had time to grasp that we needed that thing. And I just want to praise the Lord and bless the Lord for that. I wanted to share that with y'all. Um, I just love testifying of his provision and just to encourage you to not forget to pray about the small things to even pray about the little things that seem like not a very big deal. I think to, for me personally, with everything going on in the world, sometimes I forget 
or even almost feel a little bit bad about praying for those really small things because there's people starving in Africa. There are, there's a war going on in the Middle East. There is just so many problems worldwide and here at home. Hello, we all know what's happening this week or I'm not sure when this will be post. Maybe it'll post next week, but um, the U.S. elections, I mean, it is just a lot going on. Um, and sometimes I just forget about to pray those really small things. And the Lord sends me like little messages, little drops like, hey, it's okay to pray about those really small things too, because I'm God of the small things too, not just God of the big things. If he's sovereign over all things, we have to believe that he is sovereign over the little tiny building blocks that build up those really big things. Um, so I just encourage you to pray about everything, take it all to the Lord. Um, and I just wanted to give you the, give myself the opportunity to testify publicly and say, thank you, Lord, for this provision and sweet, sweet Emma. She is one of the sweetest dogs that I have ever had the privilege of having in my home. She, if you have a lap, if you create a lap, she wants to be in it. Um, when she falls asleep, she wants to fall asleep right on your chest or right in your lap. She wants to have your head, her head like right here or right here. Um, she is just the sweetest dog. She is already potty trained. We haven't even had her. Well, it has been barely a week. I think it's been eight or nine days since we have had her. She is already potty trained. Um, she is already sleeping through the night for a few nights there. It felt like having a newborn again where I was up multiple times a night caring for her and taking her out to potty and all of those things. But she's sleeping through the night, so I have some new vigor to me um, and I'm getting some more rest too. But she is just training so quick, so fast. She is an inside dog for now while we nourish her back to health, get her, get some meat on her bones, get her nice and healthy, um, get those little cuts and tears that were on her ears healed up and, and to get her trained with our family because we not only want her to protect the livestock on our property, but we want to really bond with her and for her to really bond with us and for us to become her family in the way and in the sense that livestock guardian dogs not only guard livestock, but they guard their human family too. So it's really important to create that bond, especially when they're really young. The vet could not give us an estimate on how old she was, but probably less than six months old. She's probably in the four month old range. Um, so that's just a great time to really build that family bond. So she's indoors for now, but I'm sure she'll be outdoors soon enough and you'll be seeing her roam the property whenever we're doing gardening videos and all of that. So, okay. I'll wrap this up. Just wanted to send you all that quick message and help let you share um, just in our joy and in our thanks to the Lord. Well, that's all for today and we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.